Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Why did it just stop playing the music? I don't know because we failed and turned it all the way down. That's why. <laughs> oh, my God. What a day. Happy Monday to everybody. Yeti the Great. Yeti the Gamer. The only ornery frontiersman. Ornery frontiersman. Mr. Jeremy, how you doing this evening? Rose is in the house. Good to see you, Rose. Hope you had a good weekend as well. Welcome, everybody. Mr. Wong. <laughs> oh, hero. Mr. Wong. Gonna take, uh, take the prank. All right, Sakaroos. Hello to you. Well, I learned something really valuable about this airplane yesterday. Remember how I was talking about how when we were in our descent profiles, like, how the hell do you do this? The pitch command doesn't do anything on the way up. I talked to Jack about it. He said there's a thing uh, in the manual called control wheel steering. I was like, okay, I'll look at that. What it is, is when you're in the autopilot mode, by using your yoke, you can increase and decrease your pitch. Uh, same thing with roll. Didn't know that. So you learn something new every day. Uh, airplane is completely cold and dark. We just opened the door and the stairs are out. We're doing St. Louis and we're going down to Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas. Be a fun little flight, it's an evening flight here. So let's go ahead and uh, get the airplane underway so we don't have to waste any more time. How about them apples? All right, what do we got here? Go to our, let's use our uh, presets. I usually don't use my presets too often, um, but we can do it this time. So we have the battery. That's going to come on. Fuel pumps. Just keep, do the left aft one, I believe, is what the APU is going to feed off of here. We go position lights on. And let's go ahead and start the APU, actually. We see that uh, exhaust temperature climbing. As the APU fires up here, we'll have it on bus before you know it. So we, uh, hey, hello, everybody. Peter Hoover, Captain Nemo, good to see you. Seaburger04, make sure you fill up the chemtrail tanks. Already done. We already took care of that. <laughs> Man, we just, uh, we were at the beach all day. So we rode, um, bikes all the way out to New Smyrna and all the way back. That's the longest I've been on my motorcycle. It was a very, very, very long, long trip, but very, very, very fun. We, we really enjoyed it. Let's turn these guys on. Those are good. Let's just do some house, housekeeping stuff. Yon Amper can come on. Flight controls, they're on. Alternate flaps, blah, 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 blah. Nope. Yon Amper on. It was on the off position. It just looked weird from there. Yeah, we'll keep an eye on the fuel pumps. Not really worried about that. Just doing some housekeeping before we go into checklist mode. Battery is good. It's guarded. We're going to be going to uh, APU. Gen. Galley power. Keep it on for now. Waiting for the APU. APU is good. There we go. That all looks nice. Let's go up here. Window heats. Those guys can come on. Pedos will keep off for right now. Equipment cooling. It's on normal. Emergency exit lights. Those can be armed and guarded. Seatbelt signs are good. And rain repellent wipers are good. We just went down there. Anti-ice is good. Hydraulic pumps are... Um... Okay, those two, sir. Okay, we'll, we'll get there eventually. Here's our forward entry and air stair warning. That all looks good. Let's do our uh, stall warning test. That works fine. Dome light. Why not? While we're in here. Actually, you know what? I'm probably going to forget about it, so let's just keep it on the off position. If you bleed is good. Paxton, come on. It's some AC flowing in here. Gasper fan is on. We'll get that pressurization panel here in a little while. Don't need it right now. Rest of the airplane get uh, underway here. Pull this guy back. Bring him up. Bring that guy up. And there we go. Airplane's pretty well lit up here. 
and uh, have a look outside. Got the APU running. Let's do the walk around of the airplane here. Captain Timothy, like the 737 versus the 727. I, I like the 727 more than the 737. But I, this is an airplane that uh, is a lot different than the 72, and, and it flies different. It's got a different kind of system to it, uh, or systems. So I want to get better with this airplane. So we're going to fly some uh, Ameristar down to Dallas. Now, in the real world, they would actually fly into Addison, but we're not doing that. The sounds are just something else in this airplane. Yeah, they are. They're really good. Remember, we had them turned down last time, and we have to turn them back up. You hear that? Uh, there we go. Hear that APU running. Captain Timothy, two months in a row. Thank you very much. Do appreciate that, man. Oh, by the way, uh, Tim, uh, there's some uh, some good stuff that are, that's coming uh, the way of the 727. You're going you're gonna to really enjoy it once that's released. Now, see, this is a more modern airplane. We can actually remove... You see this old HF antenna? You can actually remove that. Let me show you. HF wire right there. Bam. Gone. Don't have to have the HF wire on there. All right. Everything else looks pretty good. Let's go get our flight plan. We're just going to do flight aware. And we're going to just basically go off of what we want here. I'm not doing sim brief. It's just, it's, it's when we're doing the charter flight, it's just no need. I can figure all this out myself. We're actually going to go to Dallas, Fort Worth. Let's go ahead and get that while I'm getting the uh, flight plan stuff ready to go. We're just go ahead and get world traffic rolling here. KSTL, we're going to KDFW. And we're going to be going probably. Yep, 360. Departure time will be let's let's just shoot for an on time departure at uh let's go for 20. Or so let's go 30. Let's go 2030. Being oh sorry, not 2030. It would be we're St. Louis time, so yeah, 1930. Arrival, it's only how long? An hour and 44 minutes, so two hours. Let's give us till 2130 to land. That'll work. Yep, create those flights. So we're going to be doing the Janny 5 departure, Mike Alpha Papa, and uh, go into Romeo, Zulu Charlie, Foxtrot, Sierra, Mike. And then Arnett and Seaver for arrival into Dallas. Mellow FM, thank you for that subscription. Welcome to the stream, family. Appreciate it. Mathis, thank you very much for that uh, for that cheer. For the coffee fund. <laughs> Thanks, man. Now, Jeff, the release is the 11th, correct? That's what I heard. Uh, the release is the 10th, I believe. So just a couple more days, you're going to have the 727. This airplane here is the 737-200. It's already released. So you don't have to worry about that. If, uh, if this is an airplane that uh, catches your eye, you can go over to xplane.org and pick it up right now. But Jack's doing some last minute stuff. I even put my uh, my two cents in. I was like, hey, you know what? With the newer freighters, uh, 727 freighters, they had the upgraded uh, lighting package with like, you know, the, the flashing beacons. And he even got it to the point where um, he got the, the beacons, actually the, the beacon, exact beacon pattern of a freighter 727. And if you know what that looks like, it's pretty awesome. Deleted 139 aircraft, 737 flights, using percentage traffic slider. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Okay, good. All right. I, I don't know what happened to my St. Louis scenery, but this is like not it at all. This is all garbage scenery. I don't know what happened to my scenery. It's not working. I have to get a new uh, a new one, I suppose. I don't know. I don't know. We're not doing live ATC. We're not even close to the West Coast. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Nav data out of date. Isn't it always? It's always out of date. Don't you know? 
have a friend at United Airlines who was a FESO for UAL on the 732. Oh, nice. Yeah, I like the 737-200. It, it's a great airplane. I just, uh, last night we did a flight on it and had a terrible landing. Just, uh, it was just over under acknowledgement of the airplane because I pretty much was like, oh, it's just going to kind of be like the 727, probably a little easier to fly. No, it's different. It is different for sure. Departure out of St. Louis. Let's have a look and see what St. Louis has got going on with their weather. Let's get the ATIS. 125.025. Oh, zero. Two. Lambert St. Louis INTL Information Whiskey. INTL. Zero hundred Zulu weather. Wind two zero zero at nine. Visibility more than ten. Rain. Sky Rain. condition seven thousand few. 11,000 scattered, 25,000 broken, temperature 36, yeah. 2.18, altimeter 2998, arriving runway 12 right, departing runway 12 right, advise on initial contact you have whiskey. I'm going to be taking off on 12 left. We've got whiskey. Thank you. All right, we've got whiskey. We've got weather. Real some dude. Thank you for that subscription. Welcome to the stream, family man. How you doing? How you doing, everybody? How's your peoples? Potty peoples? Potty peoples? Yeah, potty peoples. All right, let me move this guy over here. Okay. I think we're good on that. Let's go ahead and uh, just do this one more time. Departure beyond one, two left. And we're doing the Janny five, if that's even in here. Janny three, that'll work. Map transition. Yes, please. Execute you. Arrival into Dallas is going to be Deceiver for arrival. What's Dallas looking like weather wise? It's like winds in Dallas are going to be out of the south, so. 1-7. Senna. Should we do 1-7 center? I'll let you guys decide on this one. With Dallas. <laughs> Let's look at KDFW on the map. DFW Airport, everybody. Let's see, Hangar 3. I'm looking where all the uh, air freight hangars power. I was looking for the GA ramps. We might land on the 1.8s, honestly. We might land on one eight right. Yeah, I think we'll do that. One eight right, my friends. ILS one eight right. Trans Ickle, that's fine. We're doing the Seaver, whatever arrival. Seaver four, there it is. What? Valid. Oh. You know why? You have to select that before the ILS. Because it's weird like that. Because it's the default. It's the default. Yes, it is. Okay. Burger Twitch, thank you for the cheer. Hey, Jeff. Love your streams. Love everybody else. Love your streams. You show exactly how to activate an ILS approach when you're coming into your destination. It's something I'm trying to figure out, but keep messing it up. Yep. We're going to be doing an ILS onto 1-8 right into Dallas. So we have no problem showing you that. All right, so after map, we go to RZC. I 
And then we go to FSM. And then Arnett. And then we do the Seaver 4 arrival. So there we go. Execute you. You look good. Nice and handsome. It'll be Arnav Hefner. Runway 1, 2, left. Never take off. That's what we'll do. All right. Sweet. We might as well just make ourselves go direct to Hefner. That's what we're going to be doing anyway, but uh, it doesn't matter. Daphis. All right. Sweet. GA ramp is near approach end of runway 17 right, just north of Yankee and west of Juliet. All right. We might do a little bit of uh, taxi when we land. We'll see. Greybeard Actual. Good to see you, man. How you been? Getting ready to go flying. You know how she goes. Okay. Looks like a little bit of weather on our route, along our route, possibly. Down south, but we'll see if that'll be an, an issue or not. Oh, did they just update the weather? Here, let's just get, let's check it again. Lambert St. Louis INTL information whiskey. Nope, we're slow whiskey. Zero hundred Zool. All right. Let's go ahead and get the checklist out. Before star checklist. So we have a, yep. Yeah. Battery is on. APU is on. Selected. Stall warning's been checked. Emergency exit lights are armed and guarded. Passenger signs are on. Window heats on. Radio, radar, transponder. Right here. I'm going to throw them over there. Set. Parking brake is set. APU's up and running. Well, let's go ahead and close the doors up. Well, actually, let's do our uh, little weight and balance, shall we? All right. So this is going to be a total of 551. Five fifty one. Just make sure we have a little bit extra. That looks pretty good right there. Passengers, randomize it. There we go. Not too bad. Cargo, random. No changes. Fantastic. Weight balance is complete. Trim is set. Lamps. Not wanting to test for some weird reason. Go into GPS mode on that guy. Everybody else is happy here. Should be. All across the board. Yaw damper. Should be good once we get everything up and running here. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, well, let's do our thing. We've got the door closed. Let's start closing the doors outside. I'll watch that fantastic part of it. It's raining, folks. A little Cessna behind us, man. He's going to get jet blasted to shit. We're going to have to be really, really easy on the on uh, taxi. Like, very easy. Be easy, easy. And a solid little guy back there. That wouldn't be good, you know? Blowing him away. All right. Beacon light is on. Packs go to off. PSI above 30. That's what we want. And then start checklist beacon on galley power is going to come off. Let's do that now. Packs are off. Bleed PSI is above 30. Engine bleed valves are open. Let's go ahead and start engine number two. Remember it's down, Jeff. Down. Turn into. 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 Easy peasy, rice and cheesy. There you go. Just like Junior Mints said. Hey, Junior Mints.
in one rotation. EGT's rising. Oil pressure is rising. Start valve's closed. Go ahead and start engine number one. Twenty and two. Here's fuel. And one rotation. EGT's rising. Oil pressure rising. Start valve is closed. Here's our lovely wing view. Oh, we got shades. Somebody threw some shade at us here today. Well, that's alright. We'll go over here. Got this way. Okay. We'll do uh, before start in a minute. First things first, let's get our V speeds calculated here. Flaps five are going to be V1 of 125, VR 126, V2 133. 204 on Eper. 204. I already set the 204, so that's perfect. Windows Defender, kiss my ass. Normal N1 will be 97.4 on takeoff. Thank you, Gaiazzo, for updating. Thank you, Windows, for being obnoxious. Flaps five. There go the flaps. Fly J Sim Love. Hey, Jack. We're flying it again, man. I'm going to try to figure out this CWS thing. Flaps are set at five. Speed brakes. Make sure they work. And they do. Come on. Go all the way down, you bastard. All right, sweet. Checklist time. Oh, we had it after. No. Nope. Before takeoff checklist. Let's go ahead and just do it now. Anti-ice is off. Pedo heat comes on. A and B. Make sure these those guys are on too. Flight instruments set for departure. Flight controls. Free and correct. Speed brake is fully down. Stab trim set for takeoff. Flap set for takeoff. Five. Green light. Galley power on electrical fuel pumps should be good. Nothing in the center tank. We're just going to be going on the sides. That's good. No fuel heat. Oh, let me go ahead and get these the engine uh, gens now. APU off. There it goes. Lights out. Gorilla radio. Electrical showing. Packs can come on. APU bleed off. Ram door fully open. What? How would the ram door be fully open? <laughs> Hydraulics are good. Lights are out. We've got good hydraulics. <laughs> APU's off. Pressure set for cruise altitude. We'll be going to flat level. What were we doing? Three six zero? It was thirty-six. Landing altitude. Six hundred seven feet. Okay. That'll 
work right there. Should go to... Flight. There it goes. We have the valve working now. Eeper and the airspeed bugs are set. Okay. Ram doors for pack inlet usually open on ground. Okay. That makes sense. Packs are good. All right, folks, let's get out of here. Flight controls are showing bad. Why? We do something. It literally says flight controls warning here. Hit reset on that, but now it's got me worried. That was the yaw damper. That's what it was. All right. I could have swore we turned that yaw damper on. It clicked it off or something. Very strange. All right. Taxi light on. Let's go. Remember, we need to be careful. We have a little Cessna behind us here. Being really careful here. We'll take Fox Strut down and once you look. Looks like that MD eighty just took off. Just Joey HD, what's up? How you doing? Yeah, classical yaw damper, man. I'll tell you. Yeah, let me get this reset. Oh, that's all I was screwed up. This thing is acting real strange now. Why is it so low? It's like up, up a lot. Is this the actual thing? There we go. A little bit better, I guess. Nope. I don't like it. Go back to what we were doing. <laughs> Track R's got a mind of its own. Fly Delta Triple Seven. Thank you for the subscription. Welcome to the stream, family. Fighter Wyatt, thank you for the cheer. We're having a great day. Got to go to Gen Con and loved it. Very cool, man. We're taxi now on one, two left. Spider Wyatt, we're headed down to Dallas. Dallas, Fort Worth. Careful take off some transponder on alt. We'll do our lights as well as we get closer. I think the flight attendants. 
Wait, all it takes is just for you to look up at the, the panel and you're all over the taxiway. Yeah, the flags will be gone on the uh, airspeed indicator once we're up to speed on takeoff. That is what it does. Clear for takeoff, folks. Oh, that's some rain spray back there. Doesn't seem like it's even raining that hard, does it? some uh, crosswind correction on takeoff. Welcome to St. Louis. That's what it's all about. I'll make sure that the flight line's clear here. <laughs> that train going downhill over there. That was just wonderful. I think the sky is clear for us. We could always get a world traffic three plane to just spawn right here on the runway too. It's always lovely when it does that. And takeoff power is set. Stiff wind there. 80 knots. Cross checked. B1, rotate. Positive break, gear up. Yeehaw, that was fun. are acting weird. Why are my engines acting like that? There you go. You're good. Little guy. Man, that is turbulent departure. Two miles on this course. There it is right there. Five miles to the next. Clean up the airplane. It almost felt like I had something engine surges or something happen there on our climb. It was kind of scaring me. I think it's just a very sensitive throttle is all that is. Airplane is cleaned up. 
Landing gear can go to the off position. Two miles this way. Have to take off checklist. Seatbelt switch. It's on. Anti-ice is closed. Gears up. Off. Lights out. Flaps are up. No lights. Hydraulic pressure quantity is normal. Pressure is good. Four miles this way. Yeah, with the airplane being light, you don't have to worry. Your uh, your V1 and V2 can be really close together. Happens a lot. Power back a little bit here. 250. Under 10,000. And the retracts in here. That's all good. I'm going to try something here. Go autopilot on. VOR loke is good. Let's try doing the control steering thing. So we'll pull it back and it sets it right there. Got an IS mode hold here for 250. And we'll set our climb power 90 point. 92 and one one we can it is right there that's set 10,700 why is it no you're supposed to be hunting right at 250 there buddy I think you're just getting hit with a little bit of tailwind there that was a rocky departure out of St. Louis man they weren't kidding around There we go. Airplanes doing pretty good right now. Ninety-two percent flaps up by two hundred knots. Ten thousand speed to two eighty. We got it. There's ten thousand right there, laying the lights off. Two eighty on the this guy. slowly but surely do it so it doesn't make such a crazy move towards it all right we're above 10,000 feet everybody we are out of sterile cockpit mode so let me talk to y'all let's do a flyby view St. Louis. It's loud out there. We'll turn the uh, exterior sound down here before we do that again. There's a reason why I had that originally at five. There we go. 12,000 feet. It's climb and maintain flight level 210. 23 nautical miles to Janie. Yeah, right at 280. Boom. 280 and climbing. When your flight school, do you have your own airplane or does the instructor let you use his? Uh, it's usually the flight school's airplane. The weather anti cast, 20 miles. That'll be fairly honest, so you're not seeing too much out here. Let's try to paint the ground and then we'll go up from there. N1 here it was a little low. There we go, right there. Set my friction here on the. Oh yeah, that was pretty low. That's probably why. It was doing that. Moving around. 
I think that's the reason why it was surging too. Oh, that was the lights test right there. I was hitting the marker lights like an idiot. But still, when you hit test, it should turn these on, but it didn't. About 15,000 feet, holding 280 knots. Next up, a 290 mock hold 0 0.74. Look from the window. We're flying this in real time and real world weather. This is a charter flight, so. If you press the marker light cap, will it illuminate? I don't think it does. I just don't think it's. Yeah, I don't think any of them work. Which is okay. It's a silly thing to, to be modeled, I suppose. What do I use for weather? It's Blake, bro. I am using default, actually. Okay, 2992. We're at standard pressure above 18,000. 2992. That is good. Nice to be descent. Mellow FM. All right, right, man. We'll see you. Sorry, I couldn't read that at all. Well, that thing is right there on the line. Right there on the line. Exactly what we want. Green, low pressure's good. Hydraulics are good. Nineteen miles to Wesco, and then we will make that turn to two two seven with thirty seven nautical miles to map. And the big stretches between MAP and RZC, 138 nautical miles there. Oh, continue on upward, please. Up to flight level 360. Thing just rock. It's a rocket. Rocket ship. Let me turn off that wing light, I suppose. Need that on. Look at that wing flex. Pretty that is. Gotta love the Boeing Guppy. <laughs> yep, it's a great looking plane.
airport down there. Climbing very nicely. Still 280 knots. So we get the 290, we'll switch over to Mach 0.74 and climb the rest of the way to 360. There's our turn. Does this track wear and tear like the 727? Yes, it does. It's right here on the maintenance system. The status right there. I have it turned off. Yeah, texturing's done really well in this plane. And look at those reflections. It's really nice. As the seatbelt signs and all that illuminated. Old United Airlines. Yep. Can't go in the bathroom though, sadly. Sorry, Chare. they will ever add AI passengers. I don't know. I, I don't think there really is a need for it. Maybe we're on the plane so fast. Uh, period in the comma key or like what you have there, but you can hit shift and it goes faster. You hold shift and do it. Two eight zero, thousand feet to go before we switch over to Mach seven four. Most over Mike Alpha Papa. Tammy to body, thank you very much for that subscription. Welcome to the stream family. How you doing?
Harris 290. Let's bump this guy up to Mach 0.74. We are using the FMS. We are going right now direct to map, which is, uh, we're six nautical miles over it right now, DME. Uh, and then we will go to a heading of 235 automatically, and we will be going to uh, RZC for 138 nautical miles until we get there. That's the longest stretch. Well, not really. This whole section here is the longest part of the flight. All right, we're Mach 7 4. We're still climbing towards flight level 360 for a final. You tried tracking a VR radial using nav and autopilot. Uh, I have not yet. Uh, but it does it the same way for the most part. It's doing a VOR loc uh, click. It, it just instead of nav for it just feeding the uh, information from the. The navigational radio we have a switch switched up to gps and gps is just the fms data that's all Well, then I don't know what to tell you, man. <laughs> I don't know what you're asking. Some seven hunts far too much when trying to capture radial from the ground. Yeah, I, I don't know. I know that the 727's uh, got, uh, got a huge up update on their autopilot system. I don't know. Couldn't tell you. You power back a little bit here. But we're in pretty much go fast mode. We're another 6,000 feet. Pretty good. The bike's fantastic. Rode it all day today. Damn near 200 miles. Taking forever to get up to 360. That was a tall order. What did it ask for? Uh, 353. Eh. Gotta go to 360. It can do it. It can do it. It's just gonna take forever to get there. manage our speed on the way up for the most part. My legs are a little itchy. Got a little sun. How far to Dallas? Got a while to go. We actually beat our departure time, which was supposed to be at 730. 
Central Standard Time. Been in the air for about 30 minutes or so. been on 2992 for a long time since 18,000 feet. What's the cruise Mach number on the 727? I have no idea. When it comes to uh, cruise charts and all that, I usually just go, go fast. I usually cruise up Mach 0.78 or so. Depends. This thing's gonna take a while to get up to uh, 360. It is not liking it. Yeah, for the most part, I just, uh, I go off of virtual airplane fuel. Not really worried about that. So go fast, man. That's what I try to do. Boy, this thing is not wanting to get to 360. I'll tell you that right now. We'll see if it does. If it does, it'll be a miracle at this point. I'm not sure if this thing works. I pointed this radar down at the ground and it won't paint. Shit. Gooey, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream. Oh, I know the reason why the airplane is not wanting to get a 360. I'm just saying it doesn't want to get there. Might just go with three four zero, honestly. If we can get there, gotta drop that back a little bit. We'll get there. Yeah, I mean, the optimal altitude it was saying here was uh, three, three, five, four, thirty five thousand four hundred feet. But I was going to go up to three six zero because we're going west. However, we're just going to honestly, I don't even think we're going to make that. And then we're going to have to go down to thirty three thousand. It's just it's like, nope, don't want to go any faster. Let's go down to 330. Let's try this. There we go. Let's ease 
that sucker on back. Let's see if we got an altitude hold here. to the airplane here but automatically switched over to altitude hold there and it captured it just like that how about it seatbelt signs are off in fact you should see it that way yep see actual sign went out a little bit of turbulence up here you know what I don't think I have that turned on Yeah, we didn't. There we go. Yeah, a little, little bumpy. Yeah. It's bumpy enough that we're going to have to keep the seatbelt sign on here. It's one of those kind of deals. I've heard the term night watch before. I've heard of that many, many times. I don't know what you're referring to though. Grout Adler. Hey man, good to see ya. Holy crap. Still uh, flying the Lear. We're flying the 737-200, uh, the Fly JSM, and we're going down to Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas actually. Here she is. Remember 465 Tango Whiskey. Don't mind those lovely uh, contrails the Max playing in the background there. Fly Delta 777, I, I have a uh, Jetline Systems PC. All of my specs and everything are on the on my YouTube About page. Let's go down to 320, actually. Try to get some... Uh, oops. Try to get some um, rougher or some uh, some thinner air, and not to mention we're going west, so we need to be on three two zero. Push it down. We're gonna try to get some rougher air or some uh, smoother air here for our passengers, because right now we were getting beat up. I don't see it painting any storms out here. Wing anti ice. That is going to go to the on position. Oh, a little bit of an overspeed there. So we start pulling back power. That's what you want to do. When you don't have to worry about spending money on fuel. <laughs> Yeah, on a non-crazy stream. Yeah, I, I stream uh, X-Plane quite often, actually. More so than I used to. Oh, man. Sorry I missed you, Grau. Still flying the citation. And altitude hold three two zero. Let's see if this is any of a smooth, any more of a smoother ride for them. Nope. I think we're just going to be hitting some rough stuff over these uh, over these clouds here. Looks like we got some sort of build up here, but it just doesn't. I don't know. I can't get this weather radar to work. The gain. I can't move the gain on it. It's range 40. 
I don't know what else. Oh, you know what? I wonder if it's something over here. No. Nope. It's all ADF. I guess there's just nothing under there. Just turbulence. Okay, we'll add our power back in now. We just won't let it get away from us here. I like them. Yeah, about right there. That looks good. Oh, it's gonna be a bumpy one. <laughs> hear it rumbling around I mean it's, it's a light chop it's not bad enough where people are like oh it's bumpy look at the wing moving in the window look at that <laughs> always love the look of that JT engines look at that cascading front right there that's cool Tip flex, pretty good stuff, man. Stealth 12, this is a chartered flight, so it's not like a, uh, it, it's a chartered airplane. So you can eat and drink whatever the hell you want to. Let's go ahead and close this cockpit door. So we don't have to hear all that rustling back there. See the wonderful contrails. They'll be fixed one day. One day, they'll be white. I have a dream. One day those will be white contrails. Bucket of bolts is uh, shaking and rattling and rolling. Twelve miles to RZC. We start our nope. We have 107 miles down to Seaver, so we still got a while to go. Still got a while to go. Yep, still gonna be in some turbulence. No, we tried. It's the party bus. Well, we have some time, so and hang out with you guys. Can we start our descent? But I recommend the Rotate MD80. Absolutely, Alex. It's really good. It's really good. I need to fly that again. It's been a while. Here's our turn 54 nautical miles now towards Foxtrot Sierra Mike. Look at that. Get a cool shot here of our turn. Look 
Look at that thing. Blazing by the sunset. And look at the turbulence on the wings there. <laughs> Not too shabby. Yeah, I'll check that out, uh, Grau. Oh, dude. Yeah. Um, yeah, let me know for sure. Actually, you know what? I wonder if I can... Yes, I can. Here we are. And there you go. You have a new follower. Oh, I look forward to that, man. Add you to the list of people that are streaming. Excited to see you streaming, Grau. That's going to be awesome. Mr. Adler here in chat. Uh, he flies the Citation Jet. We met, uh, met up with him in Las Vegas. Gave us a tour of that airplane. We do appreciate that hospitality. It was really nice of you, man. I shot a bunch of video of that, um, but I ended up not making a vlog for a lot of reasons. Oh, yeah, absolutely, dude. That was awesome. That was a lot of fun. I'm trying to get more people involved in next plane. We don't get the we don't get viewer numbers that we normally do on uh, OCRP stuff or, you know, GTA 5 RP. But I like it. I like the chill, smaller streams with people that are here with like minded individuals that love aviation. That's good stuff. Wolf Bam. What's going on, brother? Flight's going fantastic. We just been we cannot get away from this turbulence. This turbulence has been kicking our ass. Well, I mean it's not bad. It's it's just a light chop. It's just been there the whole flight for the most part. Awesome, man. Yeah, I might make a small video out of that or something later down the road. Have to see. Yeah, Gridler, right here, right here, right now. And he, he he's going to be doing some uh, some Twitch streams on X Plane as well. If you guys like X Plane content, be sure to click on uh, Grau Adler right there in the chat and give him a follow. You'll know when he goes live. I know I'll be watching. I love watching real world pilots stream. You can learn a lot from them. I haven't uh, I haven't flown a GA airplane in forever, a couple years. But I don't know. Ever since I moved down here, I just haven't had that knack to do. I haven't like I've been wanting to go flying, um, and I have a and I know somebody that I probably have a good opportunity to do that with very soon. But as far as uh, Taking or you know paying for a plane, renting it, and all that. I just don't have like a, a desire for it. And, and it's there's a ton of GA schools down here, and I don't know. I don't know yet. Tito Kilo, worst turbulence I've been in was flying into MSP. Little Delta CRJ was rocking and rolling. Oh yeah, <laughs> those things get tossed about. Oh, that'd be fun, Tim. Yeah, Expo is going to be in Orlando this year or this next year. I'm excited about that because I live in Orlando. I love it.
And all right, 12 miles to that guy. And then we go finally to Arnett. And then the biggest one's gonna be, we have 107 nautical miles to Seaver. We'll start our descent between Arnett and Seaver. And we need to be at, at or above 13,000, but we need to be below 16,000. So anywhere in between there is what we want. Receiver. We'll power back just a little bit more. Slowly starting to get into Mach 0.81. Just we'll try to keep it right here in this eight region. We got plenty of fuel and uh, we don't have a lot of passengers on board, so that kind of works out. Uh, I have track eye right here. See, I'll turn it on. There it is. It's just, uh, it's pointed up for some reason. I don't know what happened with this to make it do that, but I try to get it pointed down more. I think there's our turn 47 nautical miles now for this turn, uh, to Arnett. Probably going to start my descent 60 nautical miles out from Seaver. SJ Feathers. Yes, this is a 737 200 series. Older, older airplane. Absolutely, Grau. Yeah, I'm looking forward to your streams, man. What What's uh, your airplane of choice? How beautiful that is. Jack, flight's going fantastic. Ever since I, ever since I learned uh, a little bit more about the airplane, I haven't had any issues. It wasn't pitchy on the departure either, which was really nice. It could have just been a, uh, a bad... A bad CG, honestly, on the load plan. Could have been like a little nose heavy or something. Yeah, I haven't had any issues with CWS. I don't know why it's called CWS. That, I don't understand that. <laughs> All I know is you just move, you just push the elevator down or up and you, it holds it. Same thing with roll. I like it. That's nice. Simple. Yeah, I know control wheel steering, but I, I guess control wheel being the yoke you're calling the control wheel. Because when I think of control wheel steering, I think of the little uh, switch you have in, in some um, in some turboprop airplanes for the actual nose ground or the nose wheel. That's why I was screwing me. And flying the flight factor A320732. A lot of GA stuff is streaming the 727B3 on Friday. I'll also be showing the new CJ. For X plane as soon as Alpha is ready. Oh, oh, oh yes. God, I want to see Jay so bad. One thing is modern 737s have CWS too. Interesting. The pumpkin management 73 should have it. Well, some bitch. You wouldn't believe how confusing it was for us, Jack. <laughs> I bet. Yeah, no, it makes no sense. It's like control wheel steering, CWS. All right. I, I literally thought it was the hydraulic system for the uh, nose wheel. That's funny. No real world 732 pilots seem to use it much. Yeah, I assume they just man. I, I'm not really sure how they manage the, uh, the descent. I've always, in the 727, uh, I would always manage it with the pitch command wheel, but uh, I don't, 
I don't know. I don't know that much about the CWS system. Now, what's crazy is that a long time ago, uh, there was a 737-200, the Tin Mouse 737-200 for FSX a long time ago. That sucker had CWS. I didn't know it was called CWS. I just was like, this is really cool. You just hold the, you turn the heading and airplane just holds that. Same thing with the pitch. I didn't know it was a real thing. If you nudge your yoke while saying low nav, it may revert back to wing level CWS. Interesting. Scarebus, no, he's talking about a citation jet. CJ. I'm looking forward to a citation jet. I've been wanting one of those real bad for X Plane. Eleven miles to Seaver. Boy, turbulence has just been pretty steady. But yeah, on our descent phase, when I get down uh, closer to ten thousand feet, I'm gonna shut the uh, ring light off and my webcam off for landing. I just don't want a big, massive ring light in my face on landing. Yeah, Captain Timothy. Yeah, I mean, that's normally what I, that's what I did last night. But the issue I run into is airplane seems like it wants to, to you, it seems like you chase the trim wheel constantly. You don't have any management involved in the descent. I don't know. It could just be manual control and all that, but. Oh, kind of pain in the butt. Yeah, Grau, if you have any uh, pictures, yeah, I don't mind showing, sharing that with people. I'm talking CWS and pitch mode. Yes. Yeah, I didn't know how to use CWS last time, so it was interesting <laughs> to say the very least. Mikado. Hey, it's a 737. My former father-in-law worked on the wing department for Boeing. He was on the engineering team for this aircraft. Very cool. You know, something, uh, a funny story is, uh, Kiranato has got a new airplane that is going to be coming out and I'm extremely excited for it. It was just, uh, I think it was just released for FSX. So I hope and prepared. I hope it's going to make it to X plane, but the shorts S 360, the shorts 360. Love that airplane. Worked on, worked with so many of those. They have such a unique cockpit on them. But what's really interesting is the uh, the tail on the Shorts 360 is very, very, very similar to that of a 737 because it's a mini 737 tail. They actually use the design of a 737 for its tail. Yes, I will send you a whisper. It is. It is around here somewhere. That stupid thing's smaller. My God, Discord, you're massive. streamer mode so it's not showing me my own thing. There we go. There you go. Just sent it to you.
80 nautical miles. We're going to start our descent around 60. Flew on a 360 with Mississippi Valley Airlines. Very cool. The shoebox with the popsicle sticks stuck in it for wings. Absolutely. Love that airplane. That's such a neat airplane. And every single guy that flew those, uh, which was air cargo carriers, every single pilot I talked to absolutely loved that plane. They're like, it's just, it's just a very predictable airplane and you, you know it's going to do exactly what you ask it to do. But number two, it's like the view out of that front. It's like, it's like sitting on a couch. It's so wide in there. So the visibility in them are just really, really, really good. Have you seen the chemtrail breaker yet? Nope. I don't think so. We got one back there. The 330 was a trip. Used to be the jump plane for Golden. Nice before they got the old Air Wisconsin F-27. Very nice. I got bored adding in all the breaker text, so I put some Easter eggs in there. <laughs> oh, I got to find it now. Hold on. We don't... How much time? We got a little bit of time. We got 10 miles. Trails right there. 28 volts DC. <laughs> right there, folks. Right there. Found it. <laughs> oh, crap. That's good. All right. Let's start our way down. We need to go down to. 13,000 feet total, but we'll try to get there before then. Start the descent. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're pulling our power back. Get out of here. Actually, we can turn altitude hold off. And it should be in CWS mode. Let's see if it is. How about that? I am very impressed with that. If I would have known that last night, my life would have been so much easier. Put auto brakes over to medium. Begin our descent. And that's just fantastic. Drills confirmed. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Awesome growl. Yeah, I'll grab it real fast here. What is your name on Discord? Because, or you don't have to tell me the, nu the number or anything, just your name. Because it seems to be different.
Actually, we started this way up, so let's pull back a little bit. Don't need to be descending that hard. Forty-eight nautical miles. Where are we at now? Two three zero or two nine zero? Yeah, we can still keep it hefty. About right there. Yep, fifteen hundred feet per minute is pretty good. More speed here. Oh, it's in the whisper. Okay. I may not be able to take a friend request, so I might have to add you. Let's see. I'll add you. Didn't work. Double cap. Yeah, it's not working. We'll check capitalization, all that. Yeah, it's not showing up. Not sure why, but it just ain't. All right, we need to get our ILS stuff up here. We're doing uh, one eight right. Cat to approach. The old fashioned way here. Eight right. Is this him? Yep. One eleven nine. How about that? One eleven nine is set. That's gonna be a course of one seven eight. No, one seven six actually. Okay. One seven six when we have to. A little more haste on the descent. Not too much. Yeah, Ickles at four thousand feet. Okay, let me try the one with space in it. There we go. I sent you the uh, friend request to see if it worked. We shall see. If anybody knows if that uh, weather radar works, it would be Jack. I'm sure it does. We just didn't have any actual precipitation to worry about. Oh, gosh. 732 doesn't have it yet. All right. I was wondering. So. Yeah, I think we flew over some stuff earlier. Twenty miles out. You think we'll make thirteen thousand? I think we will. Mm 
All right, descent checklist. Oh, we, we don't do that till after 18,000 feet. What am I doing? Too far into it here. We just need to be below 16,000 feet. But can we do it? That is the question. If not, we're going to be close. Two nine or nine or seven for our ultimate. -er. Gonna be close. Nine miles to make sixteen thousand feet. We can we can do it. Can do it. Verge 12,000 to 11,000 for the next one. Oh, yeah. I think we might even make Seaver at 13 and or above. We'll see. Pretty damn close. Oh, yeah. We'll be fine. Already below 16,000. We got four miles, so. Bring this up a little bit. Shallow that descent. Doing great. Be at 270 knots. There's the turn. 12 mile to Burge down to 11,000. And we're going to put this to the flight detent. All right, we're going to go lights out in a second. Just a minute. So I can land this with a decent amount of light on my face. to go. Sentry list seatbelts are on. Anti-ice is Going to be nope. Off. Closed. Lane lights. Not yet. Bring this guy forward. Two miles here at eleven thousand feet. Be okay. Two hundred and fifty knots. Altimeters are set. Lane lights are off right now. We turn the wing light on now if we want. Flight instruments are set. Hydraulic pressure quantity is good, normal. Pressure and cooling doors are set. 
On down we go. Well, this thing's being stubborn. Come on, CWS, go down. It's not wanting to do it. Why? Oh, because you're an altitude hold, you bastard. You're going to screw us on this. Getting down to 10,000, 8,000. Be exact. Okay. Why did it do this now? Go direct to Ickle after Yapt. There we go. Watch our speed here. Oh, hello, Mr. Airplane. American 757 or something there. It'll be 4,000 there. Okay, we're, about, we're, we're good on that. Slow down to 230 knots. Hold. It's okay there. Back to off. Continue on down. I'm going to go down to 4,000 feet. Eleven and twelve to Ickle. Thank you, Alex. Winds are 140 at 9 or not. 10 statute miles of visibility. Fuel clouds at 7,500. Fuel clouds at 30,000. Temperature 342.17. Outside of 2997. 2997 is reflected there. We are good on that. Five miles to Yapt at 6,000. A little quicker than what we want to be, but that's all right. Need to be down at 2.30 for her flaps. I'm giving her everything she's got, Captain. There's somewhere in that ballpark right there. That's good. Shallow up on that guy a little bit. There we go. Help slow the airplane down as well. Here's the turn to Ickle. Go to heading hold mode. And select. And we'll. Oh, no, the other way. No. 
Auto approach. Approach is armed. And seven. Ugh. Seven six, please. Airplane's going to be really slowing down here. There's the runway out there. Airplane is slowing down nicely. There's our localizer. 230, flaps one. And flaps five. Let's view our card. V ref landing for thirty flaps. One twenty three plus five. Twenty eight. We'll shoot right around one thirty. For V ref. Slow into one hundred and eighty knots now. Flaps five is set. Move for flaps ten here shortly. Uh, Look like should be moving any second here. We have a steep angle. Localizer alive. Flaps ten. Flaps 15. Expecting a crosswind off to our left hand side. Slight one. Got an airplane inside on the left landing on that runway there. Right over there. We got one departing. Let's see he's on a little right downwind. Or he's departing, one of the two. Can't really tell. Glide slope moving down right now. Really watching what that guy on the right is doing there. He's right down there. He's descending. He's turning. He'll come right across our nose. I'm not deviating my flight plan for world traffic, just so you know. It's just there for aesthetic purposes. And he's going to come right across us. Glide slope. 
You're down. Bops. 25. Let's let this idiot fly right out in front of us like this. There he goes. What kind of plane that is. American Airlines 737-800. <laughs> I was like, what is he doing? Flaps 30. Be ref. Speed brakes. We don't get a light on these when we arm them. I got all. I don't know. Have to manually deploy them when we land, I guess. World traffic's being stupid. It's landing planes on the wrong side. That's always good. Nope. That's just an airport. It looked like an airplane out there. <laughs> Hit three on the oh, three on the keyboard. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> now we have speed brakes armed. It's always little quirks with different airplanes. Set a radio altimeter to 500. That's cool. We got a parallel approach going here with that 737 that cut us off. Landing. I have control. thousand Five hundred. Versus. Have to mess with our taxi light there. <laughs> it's 
60 knots. Clear it. Redeemed ourselves from yesterday, that's for sure. <laughs> A lot better. Starting the APU. Now we gotta find out where the hell we're going <laughs> the taxi flaps up we're going to be taxiing back to the left it looks like thank you everybody yeah, definitely a, a much better landing than what we've had uh, yesterday. Learning the plane. Still getting really pitchy there, Jack. Uh, like right whenever I'm uh, in the flare. I don't know if you noticed it. Like I was hunting it kind of up and down. Something wonky happened in there. APU. It's up and running. Oh, it doesn't want the dual bleed. Okay. You got it, son. <laughs> yeah, it's just it's just that one issue. Like, it flies fantastic, especially on final and everything. It's just whenever it's in those final moments of the, before flaring, it seems to get really pitchy on you. I think the ramp's over that way. Is that where it's at? I'm not sure where the uh, GA ramp is. Probably over here. That's all the cargo ramps there. Try to get the uh, airport diagram up here. Hold on. Okay, DFW airport diagram. Yeah, this time I didn't fly the VRF exact. I, I went a little quicker. And it helped me. Just a little bit. Last tower all that. This UPS ramp. These are all holds over there. Hmm. Yeah, we'll just park wherever. Screw it. Yeah, we're not going to FedEx. Oh, that's going to be great, Jack. Looking forward to it. Yeah, no, I really enjoyed this airplane. After I learned the CWS, it's a lot more, uh, it makes more sense. Because there for a second, I was like, I don't know how to properly descend this airplane. Like, at all. It's still a handful. You still have to keep after it. I can imagine how much fun it would be on Pilot Edge. They'd probably be screaming at you every five minutes. If you did, weren't on top of it. What are you what are you doing, airplane? I didn't hit anything. Look at all those planes lining up out there. I think there's one landing over here, actually, it looks like. Two of them out there.
Yep, got a couple airplanes. Looks like one is landing on this runway. From what I can tell. Yep, definitely is. I'll just wait for him to land. I don't know what that one's doing now. He's kind of scaring me. This one's on an approach for 1 8 right. I don't know where he's going. You're going to park. No, no. Yeah, I don't know where that plane's going. An MD-80. Awesome growl. Yeah, I'll check those out for sure. Oh, wow, those look amazing. Oh, now he's turning. World traffic is doing some interesting stuff. That's an MD-80. I don't know what. Oh, he might be landing on the cross runway, actually. I think he's laying on the cross runway. That's what it looks like to me. Been to this airport more than almost any other. <laughs> yep, we have. to judge his landing. And after landing, checklist here in a minute. Land a little early there. An A321 or something, it looks like. That'd just be a normal A320. All right, cool. Alright, after landing checklist. Window heat off. Anti-ice as required. It's off. Pedo heat off. Flaps are up. No lights. Radar transponder. Off. Speed brakes. Fully down. Galley power. Off. Light ground switch. Goes to ground. Let's do it from over here. There we go. APU is started. And APU's on bus. APU bleed. Engine bleeds are off. This will just park up here on this ramp over here.
Oh, the night lighting and X-Plane's real good, man. All right, folks, we have made it. If you bleeds are good, everybody's happy there. Hydraulics A can come off and shut down checklist. Seatbelts are off. Beacons off. Exterior lights is required. We've got just the position lights on. Start levers are cut off. Park and brake set. Electrical APU is on. Hydraulics are off. This is all hydraulics off. Here we go. Go ahead and activate the stairs here in a second. Go to this. They are on a pressurization thing, so it looks like they're good. Open those guys, and we're going to manually open this door. There we go. Air stairs are coming out. Haven't opened the rear stairs yet. I'll have to do that. There we go. There she is, everybody. Go back here and see the rear stairs. Nice walk around of the airplane here. There they are. That's awesome. That's how we do our after flight walk around here. APU. Actually, we can go ahead and turn our sound up a little bit better now. You can actually use your aviation flashlight too for that. Look up in there. Actually, you know what? Do. Yeah.
or after flight walk around. Look at the nose of that 737, man. I mean, Jack's model, modeling of the Boeing airplanes is just stupid good. Look at that nose. That just looks like the real thing. It's crazy. Look inside here. The flint fan blades. About as beat up as the real ones are. <laughs> Look at all the scuff marks and from the sky draw marks. Hitting bugs and everything else. I mean, just incredible work. Open the front belly. That was good. All the pedo tubes and everything look intact. Turn that off. I love whenever people give me the, or they give you the option. They model the whole airplane when you go outside of it from the cockpit view. I love that because you can actually do walk arounds and get really good screenshots and stuff because you can turn around and just zoom in on it like that. Like it's a actual picture. I mean, it's crazy how good that is. Absolutely crazy. Look at that. Pretty good stuff, man. Pretty damn good. It's so good that I'm not even going to worry about the, uh, on the outro flying around or anything like that at all. No, 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 no. You guys, I'm going to send you over to uh, Mr. Wong. Give him some love. Mr. Todd. Tell him so. Tell him hello. He is uh, doing Mr. Wong actually right now on OCRP. So be sure to do that. I'm going to call it a night here, and I will see you all tomorrow. Take care. Yes, bing bong. <laughs>